Hi, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop, back with my auction finds. So the stuff here on the trailer represents 140 bucks. I think it did pretty good. Got some bigger things on there. So I get the stuff from the shop, and these two are uh, mystery boxes. I haven't gone through them on purpose, so we can go through them together. So I get the stuff unloaded, and we'll start going through it. Okay, first <laughs> thing I got here was this huge oil burner. I did not expect it to be this big. This is this is a 20 horse, 440 motor. This whole part here, this is a casting. This isn't sheet metal, this is all a casting. And it is heavy. I bought it because I knew someone looking for a uh, oil burner, but obviously this isn't gonna work for them. I mean, it's just it's massive i only paid five bucks for it so can't really lose there i guess but yeah that's the first thing i got so i'll bring you back okay these next two things are pretty small here's a it was a grinder well one of those centered belt driven ones on this thing i paid uh 20 bucks for this i thought it was a little heavier duty but I'll use the stand for something. And here, this is a brown and sharp hydraulic headstock off of a grinder. A, uh, you know, surface grinder. I paid five bucks for it. It's pretty rough. Back here, there's the graduations for moving that. And there's the dovetail and there's a clamp that came with it. Speed control over the spindle. Don't know what I'm going to do with it. But for again, for five bucks. Things were cheap yesterday, man. If if you wanted five or three horse, three phase motors, they were going for two bucks, two fifty. Uh, new motors were going for twenty. It was it was crazy what how low some stuff was going. But uh, yeah, so I got this headstock. Again, I'll find some use for it. Let me bring you over here. I got this cabinet. I paid 10 bucks for it. The reason I got it is it's nice to have cabinets, but it's got a really nice mag starter in it. So that's nice. So well worth that. Uh, let me... Stop the camera again real quick, move this off, and I'll show you the last bits, and then we'll go through the random job lots. Okay. So for 10 bucks, I got this Leeson motor attached to this 30 to 1 90 degree reduction gear drive. So though that's a handy thing to have. I don't know if the motor works, but couldn't really go wrong with that, so. And this guy I paid five bucks for. I was told the motor works, but the mixing part was bad. It's some kind of stir for something. But for a half horse, single phase Baldor motor, you know, five bucks. This cart that this is on, it's got this V shape in the bottom of it, and there's this strap, this ratchet straps attached to it. It's for those giant rolls of paper at the that the newspaper place here in town uses. I'm gonna turn this into a chuck cart because it's got a natural like, V-way in it and it's got that strap that goes over there and I'll weld some angle to hold some other chucks. That'll be a project for this week because I want to get my chucks off of the floor where they're at. Again, I paid five bucks for that cart. I got this metal housing wire reel thing. I paid 20 for it, which was a little high. It needs a new cord, but the spring does work. So I've been looking for one of these to mount to the ceiling. I'm tired of tripping over my extension cord. Here for five bucks, I got a little... This little motor has a worm gear on the end of it. That guy... Mystery box we're gonna go through. I haven't looked through yet. 
And a mystery bucket. I'm gonna go through. I paid five bucks for the bucket, 10 bucks for the box. Here's a long shaft, probably for a fan or something. Motor. I paid two bucks for it. They're leasing. And here. I paid 20 bucks for this guy. It's an old heavy duty black and backer. It's all awesome. This is all cast. It's all metal. And it does work. It's got a the box is in okay shape. And I actually do not have a corded sawzall. So now I do for the shop. <clears throat> okay, so that's all the random stuff. These this gearbox is cool. I like that. So I will clear off some spots on the carts and we'll go through these two uh, job lots together. I'll get set up and bring you back for that. Here's a bucket I paid five bucks for. Let's see how we did. Got a pack of, uh, where are they? Wild. Straight ratcheting wrenches. Full set. A little rusty down there on the bottom. We'll clean those up. Nice little tool roll. That's cool. Got a set of heavy duty seven piece nut driver set. The price on there. Made in Taiwan, super cheap. The handles look super cheap. Those I'll probably give to my boy. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a little driver set. Oh, it's got a... Oh, it's a Craftsman set. Yeah. Everything in here, it says USA on it. It's a handy little tool set. Looks in good shape. It's got a flexible shaft in there. Not that I'm a fan of those flexible shafts. There is a car horn. Oh, that'll go in the trash. Then there is a bag of wrenches. Get the bucket out of the way. At a glance. All look cheap. I see one thing in there that might be good. Again, these extra wrenches this summer if swap meets ever happen again. I have uh, buckets that my daughter sells. We split the money. Where were you? This guy. Mm, Taiwan. The wrenches made in Mexico. Some Taiwanese Stanleys. Taiwan. Wrenches made. There's a blue point. There's one wrench. Half inch Thorson. There's a half inch Craftsman. Not that I need any more half inch wrenches. Nothing too good. I mean, these are nice. I mean, they're okay. And I like the little socket set. And a couple wrenches. So. You know, probably worth five bucks. I wouldn't have a problem paying five bucks for that at a yard sale. Okay, so I'll go get the other box and I'll bring you back. Okay, I rechecked my invoice and I actually paid fifteen dollars for this box, so it better produce. So let me angle you down here, and we'll see what we get. Start off. There's a leather uh, tool pouch. Big 
me zoom me out just a bit here. These look like uh, I've seen what these are for, but I cannot place it. If you know what this tool is for, there's no name on it whatsoever. If you know what this is for, let me know. Got a really custom wrench. You know, no name, it's got a square on that side, hex on that side. Well, there's a smaller version of those other. I thought these were for, is it drum brakes? Is that what they're for? It looks like a spring thing for drum brakes. I may be wrong. That's, that's a little rough. Not doing too good so far, fellas. Yeah, hopefully we'll find some more parts to that. Oh, and there's the jaw. It's a great neck. Someone's had a cheater bar on that guy. Yeah. Here's a calibration tag. It's a little torque wrench. 3 8 drive measures in inch pounds. It's the beam type. No name on it, but they had it certified. That's not bad. I like those beam type ones. One of these, I actually I use these a lot, so it's always cap I'm always glad to find bigger versions of those. There's two more specialty wrenches. If you know what those are for, let me know. It's almost like a distributor wrench. Again, or for a jack or something. There's no name on them. Interesting. Here's another one of these guys. So, same question applies as before. There's another beam wrench with a calibration sticker on it. It's in Accurite, as far as I can tell. This one's in foot pounds, 3 8 drive. Another kind of specialty tool. It's got uh, tips on it like uh, snap ring pliers. I got cogs in out. I'm not 100% sure, but this... I think this might be for those rings around CV boots. Again, I don't know. It's all oily. So yeah, if you know what this is, let me know. This is becoming more of a what is it box than showing you guys. Oh, a couple files. That one ain't no good. Another specialty wrench. Here's a some kind of electric drill. That'll probably go in the garbage. Here's an air, one of those rust ones, but it looks like someone has modified it or put something else in there. It's a Sun X. Probably garbage, but we'll see. Not doing so good this box. box let's see what's in it. US standard sieve series no idea another box with uh, apparently the same thing in it a packing 
wrench for pulling the packing out of uh, pumps. Another small beam type torque wrench. There's a couple, let me grab all these. One, two. There's four of these hammers that have the replaceable screw heads. There's no heads in there. It looks super cheap. Uh, those aren't so good. I You can make heads with these by making a simple lead mold with a bolt in it. You pour the lead around the bolt so you can thread it in there. I may not mess with that with these. We'll see. The bucket has been better than this. Craftsman Professional 12 volt, so it doesn't match any of my stuff. So probably the garbage. Ooh, some of the twist lock file handles. That's almost the, the best find in the box so far, those two things. Super. It's walled in. Look how short that breaker bar is kind of defeats the, and it's 3 8 drive. Kind of defeats the purpose of a breaker bar, but. Well, we got some. These random flat wrenches that usually come with equipment. Those aren't no good, but I got a drawer for those for some reason. Another one of these specialty See, it fits over something that must have a slot in it. I got another one of those, so if you know what that's for. That is it. So, the torque wrenches are probably okay. The file handles I love. The rest of this, I do not know. We'll see what these specialty tools are for. If I know what they're for and I don't need them, maybe I can find someone who does. And give them to them or whatnot. So... Kind of disappointing for 15 bucks, but you know, not bad. Still had fun doing it. So yeah, that is the conclusion of this week's auction finds. Uh, did okay. Very happy with the gearbox. The blower, of course, is huge. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. And the <laughs> the wire reel. And that cart's gonna be sweet. I'm gonna make a pretty sweet chuck cart with that. So look forward to those videos this week. This is Adam for Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.